Harden now with more than he had all of last season in the triple-double department. This is a whale of a game. I mean, this was an early season game where like a quarter of the way through the season, but some real intensity out there today. Yeah, a lot of intensity. Knew it was going to be a great game. Knew it was going to be a high-scoring game. Would like Clay to do a little bit better, 4 out of 20. But, you know, both teams played well. They shot the ball well. You know Mike D'Antoni's team, they're going to score. That's what they like to do. So, you, you know, Mike, Mike D'Antoni even said it at halftime. We just have to keep scoring. You know, we got to play some defense, but let's just try to outscore them. They did that tonight. Steph fouled out. Uh, bummer for Steph. But, you know, Rockets play well. 14 for 44, Houston from three. Golden State 12 for 44 from three. 88 threes. Come on, man. An NBA record for combined attempts well, in a I guess game. The, I guess the analytics guy is going to be happy. And they just love shooting threes even when you're not making them. They look great when they go in. <laughs> Kenny, what you think of what you just saw through two overtimes? Well, I, there is um, a style of play, obviously, that these two guys, teams, have been able to play that is different. The, the question is Golden State. You know, will they be able to win a championship playing that way? Just, <laughs> no, I'm not going to just that. trying to throw I'm that bait out there no, a no, bit no. and see if he jumps I, on it. I mean, it's one game in the season. <laughs> it's one game in the season. So These guys were on a 12-game winning streak yeah. before tonight. They, they, they are the premier team in the Western Conference. Uh, they have the best record in basketball, even after the, tonight's loss. They still have the best record in 16 basketball. 16 and 3. So, you know, they are not. There's concern. The only thing the concern would be, is it going to be Jaja? Is it going to be JaVale McGee? Or is it going to be David West that implements the, themselves in that lineup when they need one big on the floor? Which three of those, which one of those three guys is going to be the guy? That's you know, the only question. Because eventually, I know Steve knows he's going to have to use one of them. But neither, none of them have separated themselves as saying, I'm the guy to go with. And so he's been flirting with all three of them, even in the 12-game win, winning streak. And you know what, Kenny? Reggie made this point, and Chuck's been making this point all year. They gave up a lot to get Kevin Durant. Their bench is not the same. You know, those three names you just named out there, I, I don't know if I go with any one of them hey, listen, in a playoff situation. People don't think I don't like the word. The Warriors are a great offensive team. They, but they don't, they don't play defense. They don't rebound the ball. They didn't been they, in the championship they, for the last two years. I know, and, they, and I'm telling you, Kenny, they, they didn't win it last year, so they're not. And they're you, not you're going to judge not winning a championship as not being a great I, team? I, I'm not, yeah, it was I a new just, team, though, Kenny, this year. You said Jaja Pachula, JaVale McGee. They gave Javel up McGee. a lot. I'm going to tell you something. They, they, they're going <laughs> to miss Bogut. They're going to miss Spates. They they have the best record in basketball. That's because yeah, that's they've had. had. We're talking about this year. This no, this right they now. Gave up a right lot. Today, they record. have the best record in basketball. Yeah, wow, today. Wow, wow, wow. Not wow, wow. yesterday. Wow. Today, they have the best record. With the loss, I bet, they have the best I bet record in basketball. If you look at their record, when you see when they play the Clippers, Spurs, I'm not even going to put the Rockets or the Cavaliers, this team is a good team. I'm not saying that. When they in a seven-game series, they put all them little dudes out there, they're going to get mauled. Yeah, well, give me something on Houston, though. I mean, give the Rockets credit. And they've got an intriguing mix on that team. You know, you got Harden playing the best ball of his life. But then you have those other pieces in there you know, of, of Capella and Decker and Eric Gordon Which, are, which bench, are no Ryan better than, than Jaja. Oh, stop. Well, I'm not, what? Well, I'm no, not they're not. Those I'm, guys I'm, are no better than I'm not Anderson comparing better than to Jaja. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm I understand what you're saying. State. No, I know where yeah. you're going, but I'm just saying that they're not better than those guys. So they're, they're, they're fine, they're ni their niche. And what D'Antoni has, he's found one of those, two of those guys who actually can implement it and work in that system, which is the exact same system that Steve Kerr basically is kind of doing uh, with less offensive firepower. James Harden, without question, has been the second best player in basketball this year behind Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. He has, without question, been the second best guy. But, you know, the one thing the Rockets have, he has to have the ball every possession. And that, to me, I don't know if you can get past the first round doing that in when you're playing Golden States, San Antonio's, and every and Clippers, the, the clip, and like, the, the and Warriors and to me are Clippers light. They're a great offensive team, but they don't, they're not even close to the Clippers, uh, Spurs. Uh, Who are you talking about? You mean the Rockets? The Rockets. They're to me like the clip, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the Warriors light. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, they, they. Oh, so you like, like, like. Who's light? Like, okay. Like, like a so blood, the Rockets are the light Warriors beer. light. So they're like yeah, a the beer Warriors with light beer. Great like a light offensive beer. team. Yeah. The Rockets yeah. are a really good offensive team, but they rely on one guy to do everything. Like they, 
The Warriors got three guys who can get you 30 a night. Realistically, James Harden's yeah. going to get you 30, but none of those other guys going to get you 30. James Harden has to get a triple-double every night to make them competitive. Yeah. Like, nobody had for the Warriors have to play well. They, they, nobody has to play well. James Harden has to average almost a triple-double for the Rockets to have a chance to win. So they're like and a he, diet coke. And he, they're like a diet coke. Please don't even confuse the <laughs> issue like, I get it. I, was try, I got it. I his actually fourth, understand that. I know. That. His fourth triple-double. That triple was actually double. a good analogy. Hey, James hey, Harden. Uh, Tonight. Listen, hey. first of all, I'm so damn tired. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>